Hey everybody, Chris Truder here, leading communications expert in Japan. Thank you for tuning in. This is episode five, Your Time Will Come. So uh, I don't know if you had a chance to see my ca uh, live cast yesterday. I talked about some basic negotiation techniques called mirroring. So if you didn't get a chance to check that out, uh, please do and uh, for today I want to take a break from negotiation techniques because I went for a run today it was a nice 3k run and I started thinking about what I would like to talk about today so on Thursday this evening not tonight today's Wednesday so tomorrow night um, I'll be giving a speech at Tokyo Toastmasters, so give them a little advertisement. Uh, we meet in Higashi Ginza uh, every first, third, and fifth Thursday night, Tokyo Toastmasters 7 to 9. So I was thinking about uh, what to talk about in my speech, and as I was running, I was thinking about, hey, I'd like to share this today on Facebook Live. So let me tell you a story. Um, in 19 a very long time ago <laughs> uh, actually in the 70s when I was in second grade I played baseball uh, summer league baseball and this was my first time to play organized sports and different from Japan the summer baseball we just play in the summer we don't play all year and I loved baseball, but I wasn't very good. In fact, I was the worst on the team. You know, uh, many coaches for Little League Baseball, uh, they'll put the worst player in right field because, hey, Diane, thank you for checking in. Uh, they'll put the worst player in right field because nobody hits the ball there. And guess what position I played? Of course, right field. So this was the last game of the season. Uh, it was late in the game, and this was my last bat. Hey, Diane. And at that time, you know, I'm in second grade, and we didn't. It wasn't t-ball. We didn't use uh, pitching machines. We actually used real people, uh, real pitchers. And I had two strikes, and I wanted to hit the ball so bad. I, and I hadn't hit the ball all season. In fact, I never even hit a foul ball. So this was the last game, last time at bat. I wanted to hit that ball so bad. And the pitch came and I could see it. And I swung as hard as I could. Strike three, you're out. I walked back slowly to the dugout. I sat down and I started crying, second grade. I felt like a failure all year. I never hit the ball, not even a foul ball. And my dad was in the stands watching that game and he came up to me at the dugout and it was a fence, you know, a chain link fence behind me and he touched my back. And I don't remember what he said, uh, something like, all fathers tell their sons, you know, you'll, you'll get them next time, tiger or something. I, I don't know what he said, but it didn't matter. I was a failure. You know, I couldn't hit the ball. So anyway, fast forward a year, a year later, now I'm in third grade. Summer baseball season is starting again. Same team, same coaches, but I'm a year older and I loved baseball. And I'll never forget the first day of practice, I get up to bat and the, the coach throws this pitch and I crush the ball. The coach pitches again. Again, I crush the ball. Every pitch, I'm just like hitting like crazy. And of course, he's just lobbing the ball. So he starts pitching faster and I keep hitting the ball. And I'll never forget at the end of the practice, the coaches were amazed. They were surprised. They're like, Chris, what happened? 
because I was the worst player on the team. And now I'm just like crushing the balls. And not only was I became the best hitter on the team, I got a new position. I went from right field to the catcher. And for those of you who play baseball, catch, playing catcher is the most important position on the team. So I don't know what happened. I guess my time had come. Um, you know, I wish I could say, you know, I, I tried really hard, I didn't give up, none of that. I just naturally got better and I think it was because I loved playing baseball. So that's kind of my message to you as an English teacher in Japan. You know, if you love teaching, but you're frustrated with, you know, the company you're working for or the salary you're getting, that's okay because you will naturally get better and your time will come. You'll get paid more, you'll get better clients. Your time will come. So just don't give up. And I hope you found this story uh, enlightening and uh, and if you're in Tokyo I'm going to give a speech on this uh, hopefully a little better than this Facebook live again Thursday night 7 p.m. Higashi Ginza please check us out at Tokyo Toastmasters so hope you enjoyed today and uh, we'll see you tomorrow same time 8 30 a.m. Japan time so have a great day bye bye